This is really for singletons looking. That's right. Looking yes, for yes. Love. I mean, it's, it's follow the, the, the format of the program and what it does, it takes people on a journey from some very simple thing. It's not rocket science, it's all very simple. And it's taking people through that journey and through the, the art of dating, so to speak, and how to get the better out of yourself on a date. Because what I've noticed, some people are very, very nervous. Right. But also some people have been traumatized by love or some people have these uh, hangs up or these fears, you know. Shyness, being hurt, Shyness, all exactly. those things all covered. And so it's just so about... So it is sort of stripping it back to basics, really, exactly. and where to begin. Com Confidence, you say, is a really big thing. Having confidence, but if you're not a very confident person, that's actually one of the hardest things to to yeah. get, isn't it? You can't fake it. Personal change is the is the most difficult thing that people yeah. can can do. But it's possible, you know. God gives us free will, and we can do it if we want. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's having that confidence, that self-esteem, and um, you know, in sport, people condition their, their their body, but also they condition their mind. If you want to be a champion, you have to condition both. And I think that's what it is about conditioning your mind and getting yourself to think in the way that you want to think, and getting yourself to be the person that you want to be. You I say think it's quite hard for you to love somebody else unless unless you love yourself. I think so. Yeah, I think it's very difficult. Be confident in your own skin. Yeah, and don't and, and the trouble is a lot of people who go out on a date for the first time will maybe un, unwittingly become someone else. Sure, and sometimes some people don't know what they want. Like you see it on the program, for example, they come and they say, "I want this, I want that, I want that," and when they have that person in front of them, they, they don't want it anymore. Yeah. So people, do, if you do not know what you are, how do you know what you want? No, it's true. You know, so it's getting these basics. I mean, it's very fundamental, really. I mean, there's no rocket science there, but I think that people forget about it. We live such busy lives, and also a lot of people live their life, you know, in a way that you know. Sometimes, for example, you see people, you know, they they go to work and they go from A to B, and they don't remember what they've done or what mm. they've seen, mm. and it's the way that sometimes. Well, we can sort of go through life. Through You're writing this obviously because you've seen a lot of first dates uh, on the on the program. But what about you? Uh, did, did, did you make mistakes? Have you had disastrous dates? I never had any disastrous dates. But I mean, some people say, "Oh, I've had disastrous dates. Somebody didn't turn up, or or this happened, or that happened." For me, what happened? I mean, somebody doesn't turn up. It's not a disaster. Just thank you, thank you very much. I know exactly where where I'm getting into from from the word go. That's very good. Or somebody doesn't want to kiss me. Well. So there's no such thing vie. as a disaster state. You learn something from each and exactly. every one. I think it depends how you see it. I mean, I'm a natural positive, you know, and uh, I like to see things and, 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 and the beauty of life and the good in people. And, and I think that it depends the kind of person that you are, I think. What about things like um, what to wear on a first date? Like, that's quite a tricky one, isn't it? Because you want to be, like, as a female, you want to look nice, you want to be a bit sexy, but you don't want to be too in your face and a bit scary. Yeah. And you don't want to put it all on display. Well, I just... The way you were dressed, I mean, you're perfectly, perfectly Thanks. ready to go on a date. Yeah. I know it's early, but uh... let's go. <laughs> uh, so, so not too much then, not too, in your, not too. What about for boys then? What should boys wear? Should they be smart? I think look, you could wear a suit like this, which is very simple. You can wear jeans. You can wear what Philip's wearing here. I mean, it's just. I think it's how you're feeling comfortable and making sure that you look your best. Always look your best. I okay. think that's the that's the best thing okay. to say. All and right. You uh, you. you it's all open in here, the advice is all in there, but you're quite private about your your life now, aren't you? Your personal life. Yeah, I think it's important, you know, I think that, you know, this is my thing and it's not for everybody else, so that's that's the way I like to, um, to, to see it, really. And have you, when you've watched some of the dates on first dates, uh, you must have thought, oh, God, you're going about this all wrong. You two could be perfectly suited, but either one of you is just making such a mess of this. Well, I think that, you know, at the end of the day, it's up to people. You know, people are having a conversation, they're talking, and I, and although I'm, I meet the people, I am not in the date. So, yeah. you know, you're not, you're not here to spy on people. I only find out later on when we look at the edit and we see what happened. But to start with, I don't know, and you have a sense of what, how it's going, sort of body language, the eye contact, people are smiling or not, sometimes what they tell me, you know, when I go to the table, but otherwise, you know, it's really within the confine of their own private space in you the say table. poetry is really important. Poetry in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Is that right? I think you I like, write poetry, don't you? I like, I like poetry, yeah, I think it's good. I like the, um, look, I'm not a, a, a brilliant writer, but I think what is important is, I think for me, is to capture a moment and to capture it in a way that will be uh, written well and simply, and that if somebody reads it in 200, 300, 400, 500 years ago, they would say, I get it. Yeah. And I think that's the, the Who do you write your poetry for? Um, well... You say you have many muses. Very mu many muses. Uh, the last I wrote was for my chairman, because he did something that was very, very funny. So your muse can be male or female? It can be male or female. Because he put his auto reply on, and normally never put his auto reply on, and I was on holiday, and I just, it was called the auto reply rap. 
and it was, <laughs> it was like a rap, a poetry rap poetry. And rap. For more of the same, just click here and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Having excuses to get the good stuff in them. I mean, I can literally put fruit down as a kind of dessert and they go, nah, not having it. And then you go, do you want a, do you want a milkshake? And they go, yeah. And they just put it in a liquidizer with some milk. Yeah. And some ice, and then they drink it all. So you know, it's nuts. Yeah. Um, you know, my, somehow my wife um, convinced my kids that frozen peas were sweets. <laughs> That's I've never heard of that one before, but it worked.